Hi, ladies. Um, I'm coming to you finally with the toothpick flag um, tutorial. Um, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on a, a couple of ways that you can make uh, a toothpick flag. And I just wanted to share with you um, some of the different ones that I got from the store this morning. Um, I bought a pack of the regular toothpicks, which are pointed on both ends. Um, it's a pack of four of these canisters for a uh, dollar, and it's like 800 total. Um, but then I saw the party ones with the cellophane on one of the tips, and I thought that would be, uh, you know, cute to have. And you know, put the flag, the pennant part here, and let the cellophane show. So I'll do uh, one using that, as well as um, and these. I got they were a little bit more expensive. What well, these were a dollar ninety nine, and it's two hundred in here. So these were also a dollar ninety nine, and it's two hundred in here as well. But the thing I like about these is that one end of them is uh, flat. It's not pointed. So I kind of thought that was interesting. You know, you can put the pennant part up here and you don't have to worry about um, sticking yourself when you adhere it down or just it sticking out, period. So um, the way that I'm about to do it is just my quick and easy way. I've seen people take uh, the paper and have it long to the point where it wraps around a little. I mean, not extremely long. I'm sorry, I went off camera. Not extremely long, but they leave it enough so this part here can wrap around the back. And it leaves an indentation most of the time, a crease right here on the flag. So I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is let me move these up a little bit first. Okay. What I'm going to do is lay mine down, and I'm going to take some, well, glossy accents. It's fine, but I'm behind the camera with my hot glue gun. Just put a little dab of glue, and I'm just going to set mine down pretty much and now it's stuck and you have your little flag now um, uh, let me just go ahead and stick all of them together well no let me go ahead and decorate this one so anyway this is just a couple of ideas of different ways you can uh, decorate embellish and this is um, I'm using my ink it up pad uh, the lavender one and you can also do this before you stick it down but I'm not going to do too much so I can just hold it in my hand and don't uh, worry about making a mess too much so I'm just going to ink my edges and this is just something uh, really quick just to uh, add a little interest and as a matter of fact let me get my purple I don't want to get anything that's too broad of a tip okay so I'll just do I think this is my creative memories which I have to applaud them on this I've had this set of uh, fine tip markers for about oh the sunshine 13 no 12 12 years now so okay um let me just make a couple of dots. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it because I have my cell phone leaning up against my tripod. But I'm just going to make some random... Actually, I do want the dots to be. See what happens? Touch that. Give me a second. I'll try to get it back where I had it. Okay, that's close enough. Uh, let me grab this one. And this is... Uh, my sharpie so I'm just going to put some random dots and to save
time, you actually can just use some paper that's already dotted, some paper that already has, um, you know, patterns and designs to it. It really doesn't matter. And just for a finishing touch on mine, because you guys know how much I love butterflies, I'm going to stick a butterfly on my flag. And I only put it on the body so I can bend the wings up like this. So that way I can stick this on a page and and pretty much that's good just like that. So another thing that you can do is this time I'll ink the edges. This is my Ink It Up True Red. And And instead of uh, putting polka dots or anything, you can use the little sticker type letters, which I do have, but I don't feel like getting it. So I'll get my gel pen that has a little sparkle to it, and hopefully I can make some cute letters that won't look too messy trying to write around this tripod so but you get the idea and then you can do you know like a swirl or something fancy dancy or you can stamp it um, and this is the one I'm going to use with the cellophane, have the cellophane sticking out, and make the flag this way. So, that's another one. Something easy peasy. And this is the uh, pennant shape, I guess, that I'll put on here. And as a matter of fact, <coughs> Let's go back to purple. Now, sometimes what I like to do is use my dauber and have it so some of the background will still show through. But I guess it's kind of like a sponge effect, but, you know, it's such a light touch that you really you can't see it um, via camera or what have you. So, I hope you guys didn't just hear Kevin get up and sound the alarm like he just did. <laughs> um, so, and then for this one, let me see, what do I have close by? Um, let me grab, actually, I'm going to put it on the stick. Give me one second. Okay. Okay, so now you have that. And I'm going to reach right here. Hopefully, I won't knock the camera down again while I'm reaching. And I'll take instead of lavender, I'm going to take my plum uh, ink it up palette. And I don't know why I'm looking for a particular letter, but okay. So this is my little um, rubber stamp of letters that I got. I think I got these from the dollar store a long time ago. But if you just want to have it a monogram, there you go. Easy peasy. Again. Let your imagination run wild. You can, you know, do stickles. You can do uh, gel pens on everything. You can do stamps. You can do, it just, it doesn't matter. So you can even take a little bit of twine and tie a bow, you know, and make it real, even more cutesy. <laughs> um, but that's pretty much the quick and easy way of doing it. And you don't have to do it this way. You can leave a little bit to wrap around, but I figure with this part being against the page 
or um, against anything that if you're not going to stick it in a cupcake, then, you know, you can just have the, the back of it like that. So just some quick um, examples of the different types of toothpick flags that you can make. Thanks for watching, ladies.